Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am answering the biggest question from my last video, which is how much fuel do you actually need to carry for the Exboil alcohol stove? I've got my Exboil kit, my Tokes 750ml uh, vessel, and some Moorish coffee. Um, so I'm gonna put the Exboil to the test today, just to see how much fuel do you actually need. Specifically, the test is this, is I've got well, I'm going to use 10 mil, 20 mil, and 30 mil of bioethanol fuel to boil 330 milliliters of water. So that's the um, size of my glass, size of my cup. And it's also about the amount of water you need to use for a dehydrated meal. So you need about 300 mils for a main meal, or the main meals I have anyway. So the test today is to see exactly how long it takes to, or how long will 10 mil, 20 mil and 30 milliliters of bioethanol fuel last in this? And is it enough to boil 330 milliliters of water? Being able to figure out how much fuel it takes to actually boil water um, for a meal or for a coffee is kind of important for me now because then if I know how much fuel it takes to do one meal or one coffee, then I'll also know how much fuel I have to bring for my, if I'm out for two days, or three days, or just out for a day hike. There's no point taking more than you need, but equally you don't want to be, uh, don't want to be kept, uh, caught short. Hard to speak this morning. Yeah, so you don't want to be caught short and not have enough fuel. I've also got to give a shout out to Clive Dunning. So Clive messaged me on my last video, and instead of bringing out my um, mocha pot, so for bringing, making espressos out here on the go, he suggested bringing out coffee bags. So I've never used coffee bags before. So I actually bought some, um, they're Moorish uh, coffee bags, but I'll tell you more about those later on when we get a coffee on the go and what they taste like. So cheers, Clive, very much appreciated. If you're curious about the Expo's performance or just interested in gear reviews in general, or just the outdoorsy stuff I get up to, please hit the subscribe button. Um, there's loads of content on the channel. I think we've got 90, this will be the 99th video. So there's loads more. Um, and I must admit, from when I first started out this YouTube channel, just over two years ago, the quality of the videos, well, I think anyway, has improved drastically um, from just coming out with an iPhone to now using GoPros and proper video editing software and stuff like that. So yeah, there's loads and loads of stuff to see um, from a very, very beginning stuff, which is just hikes all the way through to wild camping and gear reviews now. So if you're into that, yeah, subscribe. So today I brought out 200 mils of bioethanol. So that's 200 mils. I also brought out, <laughs> this doesn't look sinister at all, does it? A, um, a stretch and a bit of piping. So this just lets me actually measure out 10 mils accurately. My consideration today, again, is about safety, especially with bioethanol, is I don't want it leaking anywhere. And I don't want it going on my hands or my clothes, if I can help it. So there you go, so 10 mils. is that, which isn't a lot of fuel to be fair. So a cup full of water here, or near full of water, is 330 millilitres. Right, let's get this lit up, see what happens. Start the stopwatch. And get this on the go. I'm not confident that 10 mils will be enough, but we'll see. So we are coming up for just over four minutes now. Flame still alight. And let's get in there. I'm actually surprised. So I think this is the 90 to 100 um, size windshield for the X-Boil. And it just fits the, the Tokes 
750 mil titanium pot perfectly. So that's just over five minutes. Not boiling yet, not even close. That's five and a half minutes. And I'll show you if I can get you in there. Flame is still a light, but it's not doing an awful lot. And it's steam coming from the water, but not enough for a boil. And oh, that's gone. So that was six minutes. Yeah. I mean, there's no flame there whatsoever. So it's just over six minutes. Six minutes burn time for 10 mil. And the water, it's warm. I mean, you could have a warm cup. Now you can make a warm cup of coffee, but it's not a boiling cup of coffee. So I'm just going to let this all cool down. And then go through the same process again. So the question now is, will 20 mils last twice as long? So just get this lit and go through the same test again. That's that lit. Again, there's some good flames coming off that. So we're at a minute and a half and nothing happening in there. So we'll check back around six minutes, see what's happening. So the purpose of doing the test out here is this is the kind of environment that I'm going to be out camping anyway. So it's pointless doing it in my back garden or in the garage or something or in the shed um, I figured it'd be better to come back to where I did the first review of the X-Boil um, and then just see what it's like out here in the open with the wind where it's been raining where the conditions are as they're probably going to be when you're out camping it is beginning to bubble at 5 minutes 53 seconds 50 seconds so you can see the steam coming from the top now. So we're definitely getting to a point of a of a good boil, yeah, a rolling boil. So just over seven minutes. And the flame's still going strong. So I don't think there's any point using 30 mils. Uh, what I am gonna do though is try less water. It will 10 mils boil 150 mils of water? That's boiling properly now. So that is on a rolling boil there now. And I think we have run out of flame. Yeah, it's just dying down. I'll just show you that. Yeah, it's gone. So about eight minutes, 20. for that to boil enough water for a coffee or for your main meal if you're using freeze-dried food. So that's good to know what it's going to be like using 15 mils of ethanol and then about 150 mils of water. That'll be enough for a small coffee. So that there is about 15 mils. These are the Moorish uh, coffee bags that I ended up buying and uh, Catherine's not fond of them but I'm quite, I think they're quite pleasant. I'm okay with them. If any of you guys do use 
um, coffee bags, I'd be quite keen to know which ones you actually use and what you think of them. So I'm going to measure 150 mils, which is there. So light this again. Okay, that's lit. Start that. So the purpose of this bit of test then is I know that a main meal is, is 300 mils. I know that a pudding um, dessert or a breakfast is around about 100 to about 150 milliliters of water. So if I know it takes about eight minutes and 20 mils of if you boil 300 mils or 330 mils of water from a main meal, then I want to know what it's going to take to heat water for my, uh, my, my, my breakfast or my evening meal or my pudding. So. It's just a bit more information for me in terms of for my own planning just to know how much i'm going to need to take with me for a two day or an overnighter or just for a day hike you know it, it's pointless not knowing what is it planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance so all the peas and i have to thank everyone who commented on the last video there were some really really interesting points made about alcohol stoves, um, people's own experiences of using them, where they've used their own out of an old shoe, um, yeah, shoe polish tin. Um, people of transiers, some people have, have the exact same setup as I have. So really appreciate all of the feedback. Um, and also some interesting questions there, you know, talking about fuel, which I kind of thought this myself is, you know, two litres of bioethanol is nine pound. It's more expensive than petrol or diesel so it's an expensive fuel you know you wouldn't be relying on that for cooking your main meals um, you would be going back to gas or you would be using um, or in my case would be back in the woods and have a little fire on the go and I'd be cooking like in a Dakota fire pit or on a metal grill All right coffee test yeah, that's quite lovely What I like with the coffee bags also is they're biodegradable. So, you know, you can put them in your compost bin. You can use them in your garden. It, you know, it, it's just being a bit more ethical. I think this is why I like also like bioethanol um, over gas is with gas, you've got a gas canister to dispose of. I know people do fill them up, but you know, I'm not about that. I just think that's, you're asking for a little bit of damage, a bit of danger if you're filling up your own gas canisters. So not my cup of tea there um, but bioethanol is a lot more environmentally friendly um, it's lighter to carry a lot less waste also then you know I, I like burning woods but again the only wood I ever burn is wood that's already fallen so it's dead start or dead standing or dead fallen um, I'm not about going and cutting down trees and stuff like that it's, it's not the point of this is to be outside and to use nature enjoy nature respect it rather than abuse it so that's what we are just shy of four minutes and that's not far away from a boil so we are at coming up for five minutes so that's 15 mils of fluid and 150 mils of water so it's enough for a half a cup of coffee I mean that's 330 in that cup there so you could have a smaller cup of coffee and cook that or boil that water in with 15 mils of water, 15 mils even of fuel, and 150 mils. Yeah, that's a rolling boil. And we're on five and a half minutes. Awesome. <laughs> Folks, I'm gonna leave that there. Um, proof in the pudding is you need 15 mils, 450 mils of water, um, and you need 20 milliliters of fuel or bioethanol for 330 mils of water. Um, but that's on a hard boil now, that's brilliant. And that's still going strong. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Um, that's what you need. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you have, please leave a like and a subscribe, leave a comment. We'd be massively interested to hear what you guys have to say and also to hear your own experiences. So guys, thanks for that. Um, stay safe, um, be happy, be healthy.